I have to like. Oh, hi! Hi, hi everyone! Hi. Welcome to Cooking with Kristen. That's me! And Katie. Today, we are preparing Greek meatloaf. Can you read this? Can you? Can you see it? Can you see it? It looks can like it might get kind of black. Probably, but who cares? Anyway, we're we'll reading it. it. And for this recipe, you need egg. And you need beef. So much beef. So much of it. <laughs> Lots of beef. Um, oregano, which is somewhere around here. Feta cheese. Hmm. Cheese. Yum. Cheese. You need, um, oh, um, spinach. Frozen spinach. You need That's in the microwave. Yeah, it's it's smelling like feet in here. It's, it's not pleasant. <laughs> you need onion and pepper. I have cheat onion. Yes, we didn't want to cry. We try to keep that to minimum. Um, pepper. Did I say pepper already? Pepper. Um, red pepper. Red peppers. Flakes and some other stuff. Yeah, because we improvise. That's how yeah. we roll. We basically take this and say, screw you. Screw <laughs> you. We're done. We're going to do what we want. Yeah. And pray. That yes. it turns out edible. And not poisonous. But to help us out, we brought Santa wine along. Santa wine. You know, it's July. So Merry Christmas in July. Exactly. Shout out to Nancy for giving me the wine. This is from Germany. What? what? I know that doesn't make sense. We're making Greek loaf, but it's, you know. It's not from America. It's from Nancy. That's right. It's from Nancy. So. So I'm going to get the spinach. <laughs> Apparently Katie's afraid of the wine. I'm afraid of the wine. I would be too. Have you seen her drinking wine? By the way, you're not drinking this with ginger ale. <laughs> no baby. No baby wine. I'm sorry. I haven't even had any yet. I don't know if you're going to be doing anything with a knife in this. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Mm. Don't you wish you were here in our kitchen drinking our wines and looking at all of mm. the meat? Let's cheers. Ready? Cheers. Cheers to something. Mm. Not breaking glasses. Okay. Meat. But first. No, before you mess with the, the, the meat, you have to wash your hands. Which she has done. I have not. So I'm gonna but I'm going to do it just for safe measure. We're probably going to, like, fast forward through half of this. Yes. It's cool. Meat! Oh, another side note. We're not using all beef. We're using two beefs. Two beefs. And one turkeys. Oh, and just in case, when you decide you want to make this, if your meat happens to be in the freezer, this is your little tip. Take a big bowl, fill it with some hot water, and just stick it in there. Take it off. Right, and just it. walk away. Let walk it do away. It, let it do its business. Okay. All right. We're gonna put the meat in a bowl. In this bowl. Oh, we're gonna move Santa. Wine. Santa might be in the way. Get all the meat. In there, because we got to feed some people. Perhaps six or seven. Got meat on my hand. Oh, heavens. Because you know what I'm going to make you do? You're going to mush this. Ah! That's okay. right. I can, I'm a good Katie, musher. Katie's going to mush. I'm an excellent musher. She's not a, one of those sled dogs, though. No. no. Yeah, drink up. You're going to need this for the mushing I'm, time. I'm going to need all the courage I can muster. We need is a towel. Any old towel will do. Purple is the color of champions. Towel. Take your towel. Oh. Pour your spinach out. It really does smell delicious. Mm, not really. Not that. Mm. Mm, yeah. What you do is you take it and put it in this towel, and then you squeeze. squeeze. Oh, see all oh, that? Oh, it's kind of hot. Ew. It just came out of oh. the microwave. It's like you just keep, you just keep squeezing it's like until an alien. there's Oops. no more spinach Ew. juices in there because 
you're making a meatloaf and you don't want too much of you don't want alien spinach water in there. Yeah. We need eggs. You want to crack many, eggs? Where am I putting them? Five in there. Woo Basically, all you do is you put a bunch of stuff in a bowl and then you get your hands dirty. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's so much fun. It's a stress reliever, too, so if you ever feel like um, you want to kill somebody, just crack just an egg. Crack some eggs and then put them in meat. And then you can work all your frustration out in mushing the meat. Mushing the meat. This can be someone's face that you are angry at. It's true. I will give you five eggs. I'm going to put this one in the fridge. That sounds like so a it doesn't go bad. bad. Idea, friend. Hey, thank you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to have to Look lunch. at me. I'm an excellent egg cracker. You are an excellent egg cracker. You Holy are crap, dude. egg cracking champion of 2011. If you want to, you could go ahead and start, you know, like. That's right. Dang it. I'm sorry in advance. You can do it. Oh, it's so the warm and the the cold. It's I not feel like Sigourney Weaver. I'm fighting off the aliens. Because you are. <laughs> really, that was really new between bros. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to take over? No, I'm good. I'm Are good. you certain? I am so certain this is a sandcastle of fun. <laughs> Can we talk about this, this evening's episode of Sweet Home Alabama? Hey! Yes. Let's. You talk about that. I'm going to get some more paper towels because... These peppers are some juicy little guys. Don't put them in your newly LASIK eyes. Don't touch your eyes. I will not put them in my newly LASIK eyes. So, Sweet Home Alabama tonight was excellent. As usual, Colin was hot. And um, Cash was and Cash. Sweet. And Adam, oh. <sighs> Can we talk about Adam? Adam, I Adam, want, where are you in my life? I would say I want him to win, but I kind of want him I to want an Adam. Maybe not, maybe not that Adam one, exactly, but, but I want. I would not have. I th I'm all for the southern boys. Oh! Yes, please. I just flung a little meat, but it's okay. It's still there. He's and not. cute little 20 year old, what's his face? Dave. Dave! Dave. No! No, Matt. Something. Matt. It was, it, it was Matt. Matt, yeah. He, he played her a song and she still sent she him home. That hurts. Heartless woman. I like to ad lib. I don't measure. She doesn't. It's true. I learned my cooking skills from Rachel Ray. She doesn't measure. So either. here's the cheap onion I was talking about. It's dried. Pour but some sugar since on there's me. so much liquid in here. These babies are gonna juice right up. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just wanted to touch them. Onion. Mm, that's about a half a cup. Looks good to me. I don't even know where our recipe went. It's over there, stuck in the thing. Oh, it said one tablespoon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never used this stuff, but Daniel bought it one time when he was here, and it made the steaks taste really good. Daniel can cook real good. Daniel cooks some fine meat. Daniel, can you come cook for us? Daniel Please? makes good some meat, and time. I'm going to attempt to use his Greek seasoning. It's called it says cavenders but this is not how he says it how does I, he say I don't I don't know he says it with his really thick southern drawl and I it doesn't come out cavenders at all it's but okay. it is all purpose greek seasoning we still love you daniel why wouldn't we put this in our greek loaf i don't know because we were crazy people The force is strong with that spice. It's deep. Oh. Is it to crumble as well as mix. This is the ticket. 
right here. It is a this gift is, this from is manna from heaven. Only yes. it's cheap. It's what the Israelites. It's the feta kind lived on. And it is crumbly and delicious. Look it up in Exodus. It was there. It happened. It was there. Oh, Cordy. Oh. At all. all I know is that feta cheese is tasty. That's about the only thing I'm going off of here. So how could you go wrong? You can't. You cannot go wrong with any cheese. Cheese is always a plus. Cheese makes everything better except for maybe chocolate cake. Chocolate cake. Yeah, chocolate cake and cheese. That's not good. I mean, I'm sure there are some cheeses that are disgusting. When there I'm are some cheeses that are disgusting. But like, I'm sorry, blue cheese. I mean, I know cheese is like kind of moldy anyway, but it doesn't need to be blue. Don't listen to her. She's Why would you want to eat fuzzy cheese? It's just, it's delicious. Fuzzy cheese. It's delicious cheese. Reminds me of toe jam. That's right. Um, okay. You don't like blue cheese anymore, do you? No, I love it, actually. But it's not, because it's not toe jam. It's the toe jam of the gods. Of the gods. Just kidding. The Backstreet Boys. Because they're my favorite. Back in the day. I did not watch the Backstreet Boys or listen to them. Because Katie was a good Christian girl. I was all about the plus one. <laughs> yeah. Don't you be hating. It's true. I could probably I'm not hating. Sing. I'm not hating. I'm saying, yeah, she Every was. Every song. She I, could. Mm, that is no lie. Nathan was my favorite. He was homeschooled, just like me. We were meant you were, to be together. It was fate. It, it was, was him. dude. Except for, Except you for the fact that he never got met him. If you don't like feta, don't come to our house tomorrow night and eat the people. If you don't like feta or or Greek, really pretty much anything in this, because this is pretty much all we're having other than potatoes. She told me that's a bad idea. Not wise to eat that was raw for meat Elaine. unless it's sushi. That was for Elaine. I did not heed your Elaine, warnings. Elaine, don't don't mind her. I'm trying. She's hard to deal with sometimes. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, Elaine. Yeah, she eats raw meat all the time. It's so gross. Oh. <laughs> Ate the raw pigeons. <laughs> okay. So anyway, but the key to this bad boy is you gotta get it really good and greased. Mm. You gotta. Grease That's that where this baby. comes in for action. My nose is coated. All right, Katie. You're going to like kind of make it into a loaf. Honey. Have you seen this? Have you seen what I'm working with? I'm seeing what you're working with. I, can have, I have two loaves. Okay, put them in there at the same time and we'll mush them together. Whoa. <laughs> so much meat. Feeling it's a baby. Oh, that's that's a big hunk. I mean, just so. Maybe I want a big hunk Why? of cheese. Chicken. I just killed your dream. You did. You killed it. You just killed it dead. It's up to my elbows, literally. And then, because we're making this the night before, we're gonna cover it in saran wrap, and we're gonna stick it in the fridge. And then tomorrow. Morning before I go to work, I'm gonna stick it in the crock pot. And I'm gonna cook it on low all the day, all the day long. And then we're gonna have friends over, and we're gonna eat it, and we're gonna pray that it turned out tasty. Do you want to show them the finished? Well, what it looks like there. Sure. Let me wash my hands. Mm. This is the best Riesling of all the Rieslings. It's because it's German and it came from Nancy. And I'll it's dressed it. like Santa! This is what it looks like! Yum. It sounds even more delicious. It's kind of going... It sounds like... See, so hear that? Mm, that's sexy. Sexy times. Alright, I think that's fan. it for this... Huh? What? Are we good? Okay, that's it for this edition. See you later. Yeah, some other time. Some other time. In the kitchen. That's here. We're done. Bye.